Is this the $200,000 copper penny? Did he just find the Holy Grail 1943 copper penny? Well, let's do a few tests. It passed test number one. It did not stick to a magnet because the penny is not steel. We're looking for a copper. The next thing to check to see if this is real is the weight, which he did throw on a scale and it came out to about 3.1 grams. That is also correct because a steel penny on a scale would weigh 2.7. Here's one of the last tests. You got to look closely at the date and the three needs to go below the four like this one. You can see right here, the curve of the three is below the four. It would be fake if it was the same length because some people carve off part of an eight, which that's correct. And the final thing is the visual details of the coin. And that's where I have a problem. Lincoln's face looks like it was barely struck and some of the letters don't look right either. Let me show you a comparison to one that's real. Here's a real one. Lincoln's details are really clear all the letters are well struck and a little bit further apart. Now look back at that one. So in my opinion, that is a clear fake. Now, if it was real like these, it would be over $200,000. And if you have one that passes everything I told you, you can certify it to make sure and to get the max value. And you can do that just by going to pcgs.com slash submission guide. Here's the form phone number, and steps how to do it with PCGS's grading company. So in my opinion, that is not a $200,000 coin because it is fake, but the real ones are out there.